There are a lot of obvious similarities between Rafael Nadal and his semi-final foe, Fernando Vadasco. Both are Spanish, both are left-handed, and of course both are trying to make it through to their very first Australian Open final. And there are similarities in the way they play too, especially the way they use their serves. Both favour the heavily sliced serve out wide to the left court, especially when up against right-handers, as it forces the opposition out of their comfort zones and opens up the court beautifully for them thereafter. And both used it to great effect in their quarter-final matches, Nadal doing so even though Gilles Simon has a stronger backhand, and Vadasco exposed Joe Wilfred Songa's weaker wing throughout their four-set encounter. And both love to try and hit as many forehands as possible when playing from the back of the court. But that's pretty much where the similarities end, because the way they hit the ball is quite different. Nadal hits his forehand with a huge amount of topspin, so it's a high percentage play, as it gets plenty of air over the net and bounces well inside the lines, but then kicks like a mule off the court. Vadasco, on the other hand, favours a slightly flatter shot, so it goes over the net lower and then moves through the court a little more, meaning that, generally speaking, it's more aggressive than Nadal's. Which is great when he's playing well, as it allows him to boss the point. And when returning serve too, both players choose slightly different courses of action. Nadal, we know, favours standing well back behind the baseline to return both first and second serves, preferring to let the ball drop before taking a full swing at it. Interestingly, Vadasco, on the other hand, chooses to treat his very differently. When returning from the right, most of the time he stands well up the court in order to cut off the angles, trying to minimise the exposure of his backhand. Whereas when returning from the left, he stands much further back, a good 1.6 metres further on average, and prefers to take a bigger swing at the ball, especially when he can run around a second serve and crank up his forehand. Now, Vadasco's obviously riding the crest of a wave as far as his confidence is concerned after helping Spain win the Davis Cup last season. But the downside is, his opponent today will surely prove a formidable one. Nadal's won all six of their previous meetings, and his record against left-handers in general is outstanding, having won 11 of the 12 matches he's played against them on the ATP Tour. And he's also won 84% of the matches he's played against fellow Spaniards currently ranked inside the top 100. So the smart money will surely be on the world number one progressing. But if Vadasco can play as well as he has of late, he's got the firepower to make life very difficult for his fellow countrymen. And the good news for Spain is that whatever the outcome, they're guaranteed to have their first finalist at the Australian Open since Carlos Moya back in 1997.